Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be looking at how do we identify, compare, order, and round numbers that uh, exceed 1 million. Uh, we are in our math journal on page 9 for Unit 1, Lesson 4. Working with populations is the name of the activity. Uh, we're on page 9. It says, use the information in the table to solve problems. And as you can see, uh, there are several cities listed, and in 2000, there was a census taken uh, of how many people lived in the area. And then 10 years later, it was done again. Now, if you've heard that word census, uh, and it sounds familiar, that's because every 10 years, our country uh, goes about the task of counting people uh, in cities, states, in the country. Uh, it's 2020, and the census has been uh, been going on the last several months. Uh, and this is how we know who lives where. So uh, the first question says, name two cities that have a 2010 population in the hundred thousands. So when we look at the column for 2010 or 2010, we want to look at the uh, police value that is the sixth digit from the right. So that would be right here. If you recall, the uh, numbers are, are organized into groups of three. So the first three digits say in this number here, 110,925. The 925 part, that's in the ones category. Then we get into the thousands category. It's divided in half with a, uh, a comma that separates the hundreds and the thousands. That's how we can visually organize those digits. So it says, name two cities that have a 2010 population in the hundred thousands. So the city of Norman, uh, which I believe is in Oklahoma, uh, has a population that is six digits long. So that puts it in the hundred of thousands, and it's 110,925. The city right above it is St. Paul. That's in Minnesota. So those two answers would work for this question. Now this question can be answered with uh, several city names because there are several cities that have the population still in the hundred thousands uh, in 2010. But I must choose St. Paul and Norman because that's the ones I mentioned first. So I would write that down in the space provided. Second question is, name two cities that have a 2010 population in the millions. Now, what is a million? Well, a million is a number that has seven digits in it. And let me show you. If I write out the number one million, it looks something like this. I have three numbers or digits in the ones, place values, hundreds, tens, and ones, right here. Then I have three digits in the thousands, place values, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Then I get to one million. And then uh, in order to show that we've hit a seventh digit, a new, uh, category of place values, we added a second comma. So the more commas you see in a, a number, the larger the place value that's involved. So to quickly visually scan to see which numbers are in the millions, all you have to do is look for that second comma. So if it's got two commas, it's in the millions. So all these cities at the top of this list are in the millions in 2010. So 
I'll just pick the ones at the top. New York City and Los Angeles. And I can just abbreviate those. NYC is New, New York City. And Los Angeles is LA. And that's how you would use this table to determine the answers to questions like 1 and 2. Now, I'm going to skip around a little bit. Uh, and it asks you to round the 2010 population of Houston to the nearest million. So we haven't rounded numbers in the million quite yet. So again, if I am thinking about the population of Houston, I first need to figure out what that is. Population of Houston. Oops. Let's use my highlighter. Right here. So the population Houston in 2010 was 2,099,451. So in order to round that number, I have to uh, find the two uh, groups of millions that that number falls between. So again, I'm going to use my roller coaster model like that. And the number 2 million and 99,451 begins with the number 2. So that is the first group of millions that's going to be on my left hand side of my roller coaster. 2 million. So 2 with 6 zeros behind it. So then to figure out what group comes next, I just have to ask myself. What number comes after 2? Well, of course, you know that is 3. So I'm going to write 3 million on the right side of that hill. So then I have to come up with the halfway point. The halfway point is going to be determined by the digit to the right of the number we're rounding. That's right here, the 100,000 mark. And of course, we're going to use the digit 5 to indicate the halfway mark. And that is 2,500,000. 5 plus 5 gives me 10. So 500,000 plus 500,000 would give me 10 hundred thousands. 10 hundred thousands is the same as saying 1 million. 10 hundred thousands right there is one million. So the halfway point between two million and three million is two million five hundred thousand. So when I go to look at that number, the, the uh, population for Houston, it's two million and zero hundred thousands, ninety nine thousands, four hundred fifty one. So if it says zero, means it's going to follow uh, or fall on this side of the hill right here. Two million, no hundred thousands, ninety-nine thousand, four hundred fifty-one. Is that right? I'm splitting between, between the screens. It's hard to remember. Oops. Get over there. Yep, four fifty-one. So that number, 2,099,451, is very close to the 2 million mark. So thinking about that roller coaster model, the, the car does not have enough uh, momentum to get up and over that hill. It's going to roll backwards. In other words, it's going to round down to 2 million. So again, when I look at question number five, round the 2010 population of Houston to the nearest million, it's closer to 2 than it is to 3. So it's closer to 2 million than it is to 3 million. So what we're doing here on this page is just the same set of skills that we've been practicing the last couple of lessons. The only difference here is that we are uh, using numbers that are a little bit bigger, using numbers in the million. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, otherwise, try the rest of these problems on your own, and we will talk again soon.
Thank you.